Hey, it's Tom, and this will be a really quick video. So I was recently cleaning up my notes, and I noticed that I have a very long list of apps that I was planning to build someday in the past. And because I don't have enough time to build them all, I thought that it might be a good idea to share my ideas with others, and maybe some of you will try to build them as your side projects, maybe some of you will try to turn them into a working business, I don't know, but anyway, I decided to share them. And I split them into categories, and this first video uh, will be about apps that are using machine learning. Okay, so let's jump to the ideas. First idea is an app that is using machine learning to allow streaming from multiple cameras without cameraman. So, for example, let's consider a game of the local baseball team. If you would like to stream this video, you can do this nowadays, even using YouTube. But if you would like to show it uh, in a more professional way, uh, like, like, like from different angles and from different cameras, you need a cameraman, a man who is switching the video from different sources to show currently the most interesting part. And this app uh, could use machine learning to, for example, track ball or, or track key players and switch the video from multiple sources to this source, which is currently showing uh, the game or the key player or the key action. And yeah, I think that that might be useful for a lot of people. Next idea is a real-world mapping for blind people. I believe that this is a really great idea that can be built as a side project or even an open source app. So let's consider a blind person who is going through a city and obviously doesn't see an object in front of this person. So this app could be uh, an app that is able to be installed on your phone and this person can put that phone on the chest uh, keeping the camera to to see everything with what is in the front of this person and the app would use machine learning to recognize the objects uh, which are in front of this person and use uh, text-to-speech machine learning uh, tra transition to tell this person what is in front of this person for, for example uh, be aware that there is a big rectangle in front of you if if the app is unable to recognize but of course uh, it can also uh, inform the person that there are three people in front of you be careful and so on i think that that's a really great idea and might be helpful for a big group of people next idea is a machine learning support for online courses so if any of you was learning foreign language in the past or trying to learn playing guitar and was trying to do that by online courses and or even an on-site co courses you you notice that in all these kind of cases there is a person uh, an expert that is involved in this process and is uh, for example if you are trying to learn to play a gu guitar this person uh, has to listen to you and tell you if you are playing good or not or not uh, and what should you uh, train a little bit more. The same with learning a foreign language. So uh, you, you have to talk with uh, other person, the expert, and this person can tell you if you are pronouncing words correctly, uh, if you are using a correct words. And I believe that in a current state of ma machine learning, it is possible to train a model uh, to, for example, listen a person who is playing a guitar and notice uh, some those parts which are not correct, which are different than the, uh, for example, ideal pattern. And the same with the language. Uh, especially, uh, we have a lot of models for uh, English language, and a lot of people around the world trying to learn English language, and a lot of them have problems because they use uh, not proper words. Uh, or are pronouncing the words uh, not correctly and this model would be able to listen to this person and tell if proper words were used uh, if the uh, if the pronunciation of the word is correct next idea is a code supervisor for software developers so probably a lot of people who are watching this video are software engineers and we all know that code review is great but we also all knew that for some reasons 
there are there's sometimes not enough time for code review there's no free person who is able to do a code review of your code and so on there are many reasons and this app would be able to go through your code and detect bad patterns and inform you about that for example uh, huge classes uh, a lot of unused variables um, methods which are doing a lot of things and so on. There are, there are many problems for different languages and for, for different uh, frameworks, so you probably know that it could be very helpful. Next idea is uh, machine learning support for home monitoring. And I know that currently there are a lot of home monitoring cameras that are able to de detect movement, uh, a human movement, a pets and any other objects that are moving. But I didn't met a camera that is able to de detect a fire or a leakage. And uh, that mm, algorithm, that app, would be able to detect that on, on the video streamed from uh, home mo monitoring and inform you before it will make a big damage. Okay, that's it. Those are the ideas I wanted to share with you today. And if you like this video, let me know down in the comment section. If you would like to share some of your ideas, feel free to uh, share them in a comment section. And thank you for watching, thank you for your time. And if you would like to see more of these kind of videos, let me know down in the comment section. See you next time, bye!